Hi guys, Dan's hungry for a snack. He wants a snack. It was too late. No, it's not. It's 10. We're not it's 65. 10.30. My only option right now is like hot Cheetos. There's so many. We're in LA now. There's so many places that are open. I will go with you anywhere. You just got to not be too old or lazy. You can yeah, be. Yeah, but I am. I know. That's okay. I'm hungry enough to get, get up and get out. <laughs> You're not ever more like whatever enough. You don't get in enough pain or enough this because you can pretty much settle with anything. That's why you're able to be married to me. <laughs> so I, I settled. For me. Well, you can handle me. So, um, I'm trying to think. There's a lot to update you on. Today, I took my first yoga class because I wanted to find a new like fitness place when we moved out here because I feel like I have to get in like a whole new fitness routine now that we're here. So I took my first class today at Yoga Vista, which is a yoga place here in Playa Vista, which is technically where we moved to. I say to people we moved to Marina Del Rey, but really we technically moved to Playa Vista, but more people have heard the Marina Del Rey than Playa Vista, and we're basically in Marina Del Rey. So that's where we moved. So Yoga Vista is like really close to my house, and I didn't realize like how close it was today until I went there, and I was like, dang, man, like... This is really, really close. And the class was so good. Um, I kind of, I, to be honest, I hated it, but I loved it because it was really hard. But now that I've learned more on yoga, like back when I took yoga before, I didn't feel like I really needed it. And it's so uncomfortable. And it felt like I was doing something wrong that I didn't want to go back. But the more that I've learned about yoga, the more I figured out that I think it's just supposed to be uncomfortable and in a totally different way than I was ever used to. Almost in like a painful way. Like, but that's what makes you start dripping sweat because you're like, oh my gosh. Well, it's ten, kind of. The guy, um, when we were at the Tone It Up retreat like a couple weeks ago, my mom and I went to the restaurant at the Hyatt or whatever hotel we were staying at. And the guy who was our waiter told us that he is addicted to yoga because he started it about 10 months ago and his back pains like went away. And he said, also you walk out of there dripping sweat. And he's like, I learned that the reason you walk out of yoga dripping sweat is because the positions that you're getting in, they're so uncomfortable because they're literally like twisting your organs, like wringing out a sponge. You just release. And literally guys, I don't even know many other times that I have sweat that much. Like, honestly, the only other times I can think of, and I used to take spin class, like cycling, like twice a day for like four years with all my dance classes, and I didn't sweat that much. But the only other time I sweat that much is back when I used to take at Millennium. And Millennium is like a dance studio in Los Angeles that's really famous for like celebrities doing their music videos, like training there and famous dancers being from there. And I used to train there. And they had this thing called the Dome, which was like where they held Britney Spears auditions. And it was like the dance studio because you could fit so many dancers in there for a class. And taking classes there in the summer with like a hundred other dancers, that was really hot, dripping sweat. Other than that, honestly, I don't think I've sweat that much. So I took yoga, then we came back and we went to, well, our couch was delivered. That was the next thing that happened. I'll show you the couch right over here. Ooh, we have a couch. It's blurry. I hope I haven't been blurry this whole time. Zoe, do you like your throne? I haven't fully seen the color yet in the day. Um, I thought it was going to be a little more gray than this, and this almost is like a little topier, but it is really hard to tell because I've only seen it at night because I got home and the sun was already like down and gone. But I'm so excited to finally have a couch. Um, not gonna lie, I still like, now it's like on the next thing because our apartment just isn't put together. But this was a big factor in like stress relief. Like, all right, we got our couch, we're good. So then we went to the jacuzzi with Monica and Shelby and Meg and we stayed there for like two and a half hours and we were just talking and hanging out and um, figuring stuff out. And it was really fun and I convinced them to come to yoga with me on Wednesday. We're all gonna go take a 7 a.m. class. Um, you guys should tell Dan he needs to take it too. Danny, are you awake? Mm hmm I'm not going to yoga. Why is there a camera in our bedroom? Ooh. What? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that thing right there? Um, but the reason I whipped out the camera and then went on this like five Wait, minute tangent. Oh, Bowser wants to say hi. That's why I whipped out the camera. <laughs> oh, I didn't get him waving high. I was just getting his big nose. 
So the reason I whipped out my camera in the first place before going on that long thing of the day was I saw a lot of comments on our moving vlog and I wanted to answer some of them because they were good like questions that I hadn't talked about. Oh, I know this is weird. This is from Honor Flower, but what type of bra do you wear under really loose shirts? And what type of underwear do you wear under leggings? Sorry, I've wanted to know, and I see you wearing leggings and loose shirts a lot, so I thought it was good to know. Um, a, yes, you all guessed correctly, I wear a thong under leggings, because then the lines show otherwise, and I don't really like lines, and I just pretty much only own thongs now, because I just think they're more comfortable. And then, Really, the only bras that I wear, two bras. Sports bras, like I'm wearing right now. Um, I was going to say this was my favorite one because they're these V-cut v ones from Victoria's Secret, but that's not the one I'm wearing. Um, I'm actually wearing a pre-boob a pre job bra, but it still fits. It's fine. So, sports bras or bralettes, like... Um, you know what a bralette is, like a bando, because I like wearing loose shirts that like show a lot, and I think the lace bandos are Why pretty. Why are you asking me that question? Like, I don't know, because I'm just on a so tangent. You certain that I knew the answer. Because I'm on a tangent right now, I'm just talking. Bralette. Then someone said, where is Cammy? I missed her on the vlog. Oh, it's Macrina1818. Does she still work for you, or did I miss something? So Cammy actually stopped working for me about five weeks ago-ish, maybe like six weeks ago. And it's kind of, basically the gist of the reason is, A, we moved, B, she's moving, C, I wasn't actually able to give her the hours that she needed anymore, so it just didn't work out. But Cammy's super talented, I love Cammy, and yeah, that's where she is. Oh, this is, I'll just do this as the last one and then I'll like stop my rant because we have some parks and recreation to watch and I have some editing to do. Um, someone said, her beauty is inside out said, it seems smaller than your other apartment. No dining room and the kitchen looks into the bedroom. So I am going to be doing an actual apartment tour because I feel like that's going to, even though people will see me in vlogs, I feel like the tour will make it a lot clearer as to where everything is. But um, it's not smaller than our other apartment, but the layout when you come in kind of makes it look like it is because everything's a lot more divided up because the living room is definitely smaller. The kitchen, I would say, is the same size or bigger, and the dining room is like a third of the size of the other dining room. Uh oh, uh oh. Bless you. He's gonna say this in my face. No. Uh oh. Uh. Anyways, the dining room is like a third of the size of the other dining room, but you can't tell that there's even a dining room right now because just boxes are chilling in it. So once everything is set up, it's gonna look different, but then. In this apartment, the master bedroom is way bigger. Like, we could never have had his simulator just chilling with a ton of extra room to do a cartwheel in our old apartment. Um, the closet is, I'm going to say, bigger. Uh, the bathroom is and isn't bigger. It's not bigger, but it kind of, because there's only one sink instead of two, but it kind of feels bigger because it's just one room and the bathtub is way bigger. Oh, and the water heater at this apartment is way better. Um, and then... We basically lost the dining room. That's pretty much what we... And then the living room the reduced living room. in size. But it's because the bedroom increased in size in this place. Mm -hmm. but it's and like then we don't really have much of a patio. All that space in the living room before, it's like, I don't know, we didn't really need it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we increased in a place that we would way rather have it anyways yeah. so and then the office it's like you guys haven't seen anything really in there because i don't even want to go in there because it's literally just crap everywhere so once that's usable and everything is set up into a usable space it i think is going to feel bigger but because a lot of the space is just like this marked off dead zone that we can't go in because there's boxes and nothing set up it just feels a little more crammed so yeah, but we feel like we're living in a hotel kind of because like the ceilings are so tall and like, I don't know. And then the hallways are like all air conditioned. It feels like we live in a hotel. Mm -hmm. So that's all. Just wanted to give you guys that update because I didn't vlog at all today. Tomorrow is going to be up editing, emails, get ready, eat lunch, film with JLT pretty much all day. Time Warner Cable's coming over. He's dealing with banking stuff. Tomorrow night, I think. Are we having dinner with your friend? Did you ever text oh, him? He, he uh, never got back to me. Oh, we might be having dinner with his friend tomorrow night. Yeah. And then 
the next morning I'm going to do yoga again with everyone. So, all right, peeps. See you later, right? Later. Later. All right. Bye, guys. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I spent my morning at Coffee Bean, which is right up the street from where we live, and I was editing and checking emails, and it was really nice, really, um, I love working and editing in coffee shops, like, in general. Uh, my mood was a little dampened when I left, and I noticed that I had a parking ticket. That sucked, but whatever. I learned that I was, I was too groggy this morning. He was like, you didn't read? And I was like, I did read, but I was way too like I didn't fall asleep last night till like two in the morning and then I was up at eight because I knew I had to get this editing done and so I was groggy I was tired and I just like looked I was like yeah I'm good and I just walked right in so I had a ticket but now then I went back to the apartment I got ready the time warner people came and we have where is it by the way fast internet the ticket. the ticket I put it in here okay yeah so now we are on our way to Rubio's because we're gonna we're basically we ate through all our groceries but we need to eat some food because I'm filming with some of the JLT girls in like 30 45 minutes and yeah so we're gonna eat some lunch there but we haven't been to this Rubio's I hope they don't use soybean oil I, I actually don't know yet you know it's funny it's taco Tuesday but it doesn't start till uh, nighttime two o'clock because they're not that generous. I know they do that. They know everyone's eating lunch before two. Yeah. All right, Dan, what'd you get? Fish tacos. The spicy tilapia fish tacos, the one that don't they don't sit well in my stomach, <laughs> but you love those. Those are the infamous tacos. If you ever heard my long story about being stuck in downtown LA and having to go to the bathroom and not having a bathroom anywhere, that's from those tacos. So I got salmon tacos because they don't cook these in soybean oil. So I've never tried these ones, but I'm excited. I'm gonna eat them now, and I'll let you know how I like them. Okay. What? <laughs> you laughing at the way I talk? Yep. Why? You are funny to me. Oh, <laughs> do you love me? Mm-hmm. You better love me. Zoe! Okay, so the twins gave Zoe the shark costume that Leo was using the other day, I guess, in an awesomeness video. And I think this is the first outfit Zoe's ever had on other than her Santa outfit that she doesn't seem to like. Zoe, come here. Good girl. Good girl.